gentle reminder. This is PG-13, PG-13. I want to introduce to you the brainchild of Twisted Tunes, guys. Give a huge round of applause for Jess and Nene! One more time, Jess and Nene! Salt Lake City, how are you? All right, people in the back, wake up. How are you? We have a lot of stuff going on here today. You know, we were talking about it. We've been to your show every time, and you guys have always shown up. You're always crazy, and we couldn't love you more. And for that reason, we were thinking about this year, and we thought, you know what? Let's do a movie we've never done before and debut it in Salt Lake City. So just for you, for the first time, <laughs> all right, all right, so you guys approve, yeah? All right, I got swag, we're going to throw stuff at you. All right, we got screaming people, you ready, bandanas? How about over here? We're going to throw them out throughout the show, so pay attention. Keep going on. Keep liking us. We love you guys. We're going to come here every year, we hope. Dan, Jeff, we hope we come here every year. So keep coming out. And by the way, that cartoon, make sure you go. We're going to have a QR code. Go watch it. You were the first people to ever see it. That's how much we love you. We haven't debuted it yet. All right. Let's get rolling. Let's get the action up here that you guys want to see. So first up, I can see him right here. He's standing upright. Nolan North! Wherever you want to sit. Yeah. All right. Next up. Oh, I, he's smiling and he's still alive. Ross Marquand! All right, now we, we have a lady joining us. Yes, we do. You guys know you've been on the Haunted Mansion at Disney. Cat Cressida is joining us for the first time. So, last but not least, you know the mascot of Salt Lake City, the rock star voice is Jess Harnell. And before we start, we got all your attention. We're going to take one minute while these folks sit down. We have a rescue that Salt Lake City Show works with called the Rough Patch Rescue. And they, they help more dogs and cats and animals get homes. And we have a little one here, and she's going to speak to you real quick about what they do, and then we'll start. I'll hold the puppy. Who doesn't love a puppy, right? So <laughs> these puppies are here in the celebrity green room offering puppy therapy to help all the celebrity guests relax, right? Because it helps them calm down to hold the puppies. But what Rough Patch Rescue does is more important. They help those special needs animals in the shelters like puppies and kitties and animals with behavioral and medical needs. They bring them into foster homes and take care of them until they're ready to find a new home. So roughpatchrescue.com, you can find puppies like Carrie here, who's available for adoption, and you can make a donation and support them, and please support your local rescues and shelters, and please adopt, don't shop. Help find animals like Carrie a new home. <laughs> and thank you so much to Salt Lake 
Um, everyone here has been so great. Thank you to Fanex Salt Lake for having us here. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. The star of the show. And for those of you wondering, that was Mrs. Cara Harnell that came up here to pet the puppy. Do you all know Cara? I got to say, I got to say one thing before we begin, and I, I have a feeling, a strong feeling I speak for everybody up here when I tell you, and I've said this many, many times, but I'll say it again. Coming to this thing is like coming home, and this is hands down the best of these cons in the entire world because of you people. Seriously. Every time, man. Thanks for having us. I mean it. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Sit tight for just a second. He's got more dogs under the table. <laughs> Have you guys been having a good time so far? If you have not yet done so, when this is over, we're signing stuff downstairs. You don't, if you don't want to buy something, come and say hi. We'd love to shake your hand and say thank you because without you, there is no us. You are not fans. You are friends. We support each other. We love each other. and We love you. Okay? All right. Are you ready for the show? That wasn't a ready yell. Are you ready for the show? Now that's Salt Lake. All right. We are doing The Little Mermaid. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we're perverted already. All right. In scene one, by the way, Cat's first twisted tunes. All right. As the narrator. Like a virgin. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ross, as the narrator, Michael Caine. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cat, as Eric, Jesse from Toy Story. Uh, Jess, as the sailor, you're going to sing your lines like Michael McDonald. Of course. Of course. As King Triton, Nolan, Bane from Batman. Of course. Um, let's see. As, oh, Ross, as Grimsby, you're going to be Sylvester Stallone. There's a lot of parts in his first scene. <laughs> Cat, as the seahorse, you're going to be the ancient one from Avengers, Tilda Swinton. Um, Jess, no, Nolan, as Ariel, Al Pacino. And Kat, we're throwing you into the fire. You got three, it's first scene ever, three parts. As Sebastian, Electra from Marvel. And Jess as Flounder, who else than Arnold Schwarzenegger? All right, it's a lot of parts, it's a lot of pieces. As soon as you guys are ready, mark them up. While they're getting ready, I got one more. Who, who, who wants it? Oh. That was very nice. You're going to kill somebody one day. That was a great pro. It's just a matter of time. It's all part of the show. It's really just all right, whenever you guys are ready. All right. Thank you for coming today, by the way. All right. Absolutely. An ocean. Birds are flying and dolphins are swimming happily. <laughs> uh, through the fog, a ship appears, crashing through the waves. Attention to this nautical nonsense, all right? It ain't no nonsense. I am telling the truth. Down in the depths of the ocean, they live, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fish in his hand flops away and lands back in the sea. We see lots of good old school animation, the way we all love it and wish it still was. Am I right? Yeah. And... 
we hear great music like Disney music used to have. Where did Alan Menken go? Tru truly, I mean, come on. But I digress. We see mer people converge on a great undersea palace, filling the concert hall inside. <sighs> Clear your mind. His Royal Highness, may I present King Triton. Triton enters dramatically to wild cheering. Is it? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Is this me? Uh, oh, I think this is Seahorse still. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Is it back to Seahorse? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. Over it. Because there's no gap. Yes. And he's presenting in. the distinguished court composer Horatia Thelonius Ignatius Crustaceus Sebastian. Sebastian enters to mild applause and a kazoo playing fanfare. <laughs> nice. I'm really looking forward to this performance. <laughs> so, Batman, uh, Sebastian. Is that my cue? Oh. Yeah. Your Majesty, your fate is sealed. This shall be your finest concert I have ever conducted. Your daughters, they shall be spectacular. Yes. And especially my little Aria. <laughs> yes, yes. She has the most beautiful voice. If only she'd show up for rehearsals once in a while. The next scene is Triton's six daughters singing a song to introduce the seventh daughter who doesn't show up. Seven daughters, can you imagine? And all their names all start with the letter A. I mean, does anyone know who the mother is? I mean, truly. Anyway, let's see what Ariel is up to. <clears throat> Ariel Pacino, wait for me. Hurry up. Listen, you know, you know I can't swim that fast. I'm out of shape. There are no gyms in the ocean. Though you look fantastic, swishy little fishy girl. Tell me, is it true what they say about the redheads? That's not in the script. <laughs> oh, isn't it fantastic? Yes, yes, of course. It's very sexy. Oh, you mean the ocean? Yes. I thought you meant your mushy goosey shushy tail. Now, what do you say we get out of here? I like chewing on things that aren't in my mouth. <laughs> now, you're not getting those cold fins now. Oh, me? No, no way. I'm like a fish play with Hot Pocket ready to pop out of my microwave. <laughs> it just, it, it, looks, it looks damp in here, yes. And I think I may be coming down with something. I have this cough, which is weird, because I had both the vaccines and the booster shot before we swam here to the Salt Lake City. <laughs> My God, this guy's all over the place. <laughs> all right, I'm going inside. You can just stay here and watch the sharks. Okay, yes, yes, you go. I will stay here, and I will get ready with the soy sauce. Wait a second. Sharks! Ariel Pacino, wait. I can't. I mean, help me get out. Get to the chopper. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Flounder. Listen. <laughs> Listen to me. Ariel Pacino, tell me. Oh. Do you really think oh. there might be Austrian eating sharks around here? You look like a fishing lure. <laughs> Don't be such a guppy. I am not a guppy at all. This is great, Ariel Pacino. I mean, I really love this. Yes. The excitement, the adventure, the danger lurking all around every corner. Nah! Help me, hearty little tatty fishy dishy swishy girl! And see.
All right. Moving on. I told you we'd mess you guys up. All right. Next scene. As the narrator, Jess, let's cross over and bring Marlin from Finding Nemo. As uh, Flounder, Nolan, Sean Connery. As Scuttle, Cat, Uda from Archer. And as Ariel, Ross, John C. Riley. All right, give him a minute to get ready. Man, you guys are so attentive. This is great. I know. Yeah. I feel like I should say something important, but all I have is this crap. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Okay. Uh, funny to be out. Well, the clownfish is back in the ocean again. Okay, so Flounder sees a skull. And he crashes into a pillar causing a cave-in. And then swims frantically away like I did when I was trying to find my son Nemo. Then Flounder knocks over Ariel. Oh, uh, are you okay? Who's <laughs> Flounder? Is it you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be right there. Uh, yes. No problem. I'm okay. Oh, sh oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Have you ever seen... Anything so wonderful in your entire life. Wow, that's cool. But uh, what is it? I, I, I don't know, but I bet Scuttle will. <laughs> what was that? Do you hear something? Hmm, I wonder what this one is. Ariel? Flounder, will you relax? Nothing is going to happen. I suppose these exclamation points mean I'm scared, yes? You're scared, yeah. <laughs> ah, shark. No. Shark. Run. <laughs> We're going to die. The shark chases them all around the ship while eating the wood. Did you ever notice that? This is definitely not Bruce, and I doubt that fish are friends to this particular shark. Anyway, Ariel and Flounder get away, and now they're back up on the surface talking to Uda from Archer. And as usual, Dory won't remember any of this. Skull! Susan! Mommy! Oh, Mommy, that's the football! Ariel, how you doing, kid? I'm pregnant, see? <laughs> Swim! Scuttle, look what we found! Yes, we were in this sunken ship. It was really creepy. Schweizer, human stuff, huh? Let me see. Mm, look at this. No, look at this. No, I can't look at this. I'm pregnant, see? Huh? Wow. This is really special. This is very, very unusual, Mommy. What? W w what is it? Did we just become best friends? We are best friends. Yes, see, we're pregnant together. What? Yes. Yes, see? Oh, oh look, a dingo hopper. That's what I call it, a dingo hopper. Humans use these little babies to straighten their hair out, see? Just a little twirl here, a little yank there, and voila! <laughs> oh, you got an aesthetically pleasing configuration of hairs that humans go not so away if I may so so much. Wow, a dingle hopper. Yeah. Huh. There is no such thing as a dingle hopper. <laughs> Fine. <clears throat> what about that one? Oh, yeah, just the see, there is such a thing as a dingle hopper. Oh! This I haven't seen in years. This is wonderful. Oh, a bandit bulbous. Snufflet. Oh, snufflet. <laughs> snufflet. Now, see, the snufflet dates back to the prehistorical times. Yes, it does. When humans used to sit around, they were pregnant and they would stare at each other all day, but it got very boring. Schweizer. So they invented the snufflet to make time music, make fine music. Allow me. Oh, music? Oh, the, the, the concert. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my father's going to kill me. Wait, wait. You're saying the concert was today? Ah, yeah. Maybe we could make a little plant out of it or something. Yeah? Uh, I'm 
I'm sorry. I've got to go. Thank you, Scuttle, so much. Oh, anytime, sweetie, anytime. Let's make babies together, yeah? Okay. Uh... And sing. And sing. <laughs> All right, moving on. Next scene. As the narrator, Jess, Adam West. Oh, cool. I love Adam. As, let's see, as Flounder, Cat, Linda Hamilton, Sarah Connors from The Terminator. As Triton, Nolan, Dr. Rick Tofen from COD Zombies. As uh, Jess, as Ariel Ironhide from The Transformers. Cat, I'm also going to have you be Ursula as Constance Hathaway from The Haunted Mansion. And as Sebastian Ross, Matthew McConaughey. I'm sorry, I'm just like, let's carry on right now. Flounder, okay. Okay, you good? All right. Uh, give him a second. As soon as you guys are ready, we are ready to go. All right. We cut away from Gotham City to see that arch-villain Ursula watching a magical projection of Ariel swimming. Old chum, she is worse than Catwoman. <laughs> yes, hurry home, princess. We wouldn't want to miss old daddy's celebration now, would we? <laughs> Celebration indeed, but in my day, we had fantastical feasts when I lived in the palace. And now, look at me, wasted away to practically nothing. Banished and exiled and practically starving while he and his flimsy folk fish Celebrate. Well, I'll give them something to celebrate soon enough. Flotsam, jetsam, I do, I did, want to keep an extra close watch on this pretty little daughter of his. She may be the key to Triton's undoing. <laughs> we fade. <laughs> We fade to the palace throne room where it says that Ariel is getting lit up by her daddy. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds legally problematic. <laughs> I just don't know what we're going to do with you, young lady. Optimus, I mean daddy. I am sorry. I simply forgot. I... As a result of your careless behavior? Careless and reckless behavior, all right? <laughs> the entire celebration was, uh, well, it, 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 was, it was ruined, that's all. Completely destroyed. This concert was to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. Now, thanks to you, I am the laughingstock of the entire kingdom, all right? <laughs> The future is not set. But it wasn't her fault. You're dead. They're dead. We're all dead. You know I believe it. Ah, oh, well, first, this shark chased us. Yeah, that's what I said. That's right. And then we tried to, but we couldn't. And, ah, and then we... Ah, and then we were all safe. But then this seagull came, and it was... It was this is this, and that is that, and I knew it wasn't anything like that! <laughs> that is a terrifying fish. <laughs> Seagull, what? Oh, you went up to the surface again, didn't you? Didn't you? Nothing happened. And mind your tone, Doctor. I may be underwater, but although I am a little mermaid, I'm also a 40-foot-tall robot with machine guns in my arms. 
okay, I have seen some scheiße, but this is weird. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, back to the script. Here we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, Ariel. You giant robot, Ariel. <laughs> How many times must we go through this? You could have been seen by one of those barbarians, by, by one of the humans. Daddy, they are not Decepticons. I mean, barbarians. They're dangerous to most people. Anyway, <laughs> do you think I want to see my youngest giant metal daughter <laughs> snared by some fish eater's hook? <laughs> I am 16 mermaid years old. I am not just a pickup truck anymore. <laughs> That's, that's good. Don't you take, don't you take that tone of voice with me, Tacoma. As long <laughs> as you live under my ocean, you will obey my rules. But if you would just listen, I only wanted no, to show I them my cannons. <laughs> I am never, never to hear of you going to the surface again. Is that clear? Ariel gets all dramatic and leaves, crying at her father's unkind words. The fiend! Hmm. Teenagers, they think they know everything. You give them an inch, and they swim all over you. <laughs> Crazy. Why do I all of a sudden want to buy a Lincoln? <laughs> Do you think I was too hard on her? No, nah, no, nah, definitely not. No, nah, no. Nah. Well, if Ariel was my daughter, I'd show her who was boss. None of this flitting to the surface and other such nonsense. No, I'd, say I, I'd keep her under tight control. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, you are, yeah, you are absolutely right, Matthew. Of course I am. <laughs> Ariel needs constant supervision. Constant, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I just said, constant. <laughs> Someone to watch over her to keep her out of trouble. Yeah, all the time, man, yeah. all the time. <laughs> and you are just the crap to do it. Wait, what? <laughs> and see. <laughs> are you guys having fun yet? <laughs> so are we, man. Thank you, thank you. All right, next scene as uh, Flounder, Cat, uh, Dee Dee from Dexter's Lab. As Scuttle Jess, Scary Terry from Rick and Morty. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got it all out of the way. Actually, there, yeah, there's three lines, so that was three sorries. All right. As the narrator, Cat, Jennifer Tilly. As Sebastian Ross, Jeff Bridges. And as Ariel Nolan, Herbert the Pervert from Family Guy. <laughs> that okay with you guys? <laughs> yeah. I love that the back of the room is as messed up as me. That makes me happy. <laughs> Even though they're not yelling, wake up back there. All right, whenever you... Wow, it took a second to get up here. Thank you. All right, whenever you guys are ready. Oh, no. I just saw what we're doing. All right. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Good. Chime, chime, chime. <laughs> uh, uh, cut to Sebastian walking down the corridor talking to himself. <laughs> uh, he sees Ariel and Flounder and follows them. <laughs> but how do I get myself into these situations, man? You know, I, I, I should be writing symphonies, not tagging along after some headstrong teenager like I'm a, like I'm a groupie for Metallica, man. You know. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what, 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 what is that girl up to, man? <laughs> what does this microphone do? <laughs> Ariel! Ariel, are you okay? 
If only I could make him understand. I just don't see things the way he does. I don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Mm, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl? The girl who has everything. <laughs> Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> there, there's, there's more, but I'm, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Sebastian has been snooping around and now comes crashing down, making a lot of noise. He has a, a snarf thud in his mouth. <laughs> Sebastian! I Ariel, what, are, are, are you mad? How could you... How, what, what is all this stuff, man? Oh, it's, uh, it's... Is that my rug, man? You can have it back, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and the rest of this stuff just my little collection. Oh, I see. Your your, your collection. Hmm? Uh, if your father <laughs> knew about this place, he he'd uh Come on, come on, you're not gonna tell him, are you? Are you, are you? Oh, please, Sebastian. He'd never understand. Ariel, <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you're under a lot of pressure here, man. You know, don't, you, you come with me. I'll take you home and get you something warm to drink like a, like a white Russian, man, you know? You know? A ship passes by overhead on surface. Fireworks in the sky around the ship. Ariel looks on amazed. Sebastian and Flounder arrive. Hmm. Hmm. What do you suppose? Ariel, Ariel, what? Wait, 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 you jumping jellyfish, man. Ariel, please come back, man. Ariel swims to the ship and watches the party out until Max finds her. Think of the upper body strength to climb up the side of the ship and hang on. Think about it. Hey there, sweetie. Quite a show, huh, bitch? Scuttle, be quiet. They'll hear you. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. We're being intrepidatious. We're out to discover, bitch! I've never seen a human this close before. Mm. <laughs> He's very handsome. Isn't he, bitch? <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know. He looks kind of hairy and slobbery to me. Almost mm. bitch-like. Mm. Hairy and slobbery. <laughs> hairy and slobbery. No, not that one. The one playing the snuff blad. And scene. Oh. Big round of applause for Cat Cressida joining us first time. No, we got that. All right. I I think we have a special guest going to join us on stage for the next scenes. You guys, you guys all know Todd Habercorn, don't you? Todd, come on out. Let's hear it! All right, we're going to have Todd join us for the next few scenes here. Page 12. All right. So, in the next scene, as the narrator Nolan, King Candy from Wreck-It Ralph, as, uh, oh, let's, you know what? Let's do this. Todd. As Scuttle, George Takei. Okay. And as Eric, Jess, William Shatner. Sure. Makes sense? Sure. 
And as, actually, Todd, we're going to put you to work. As the narrator, how about Death the Kid from Soul Eater? Nolan's Grimsby. King Candy is Grimsby. Oh, well, you said... Sorry, I said the wrong thing. I heard him too, brother. Okay, okay, we'll forgive him. That's okay, that's okay. Mistakes that's happen. Okay. Mistakes happen. That's All right, okay. and as Ariel Ross, Patrick Warburton. Okay. All right, whenever you guys are ready. Silence! Silence! It is now my honor and privilege to present our esteemed oh, uh, uh, Prince Eric with a very special, very expensive, very large birthday present. Oh, don't you know? Ah, uh, Grimsby, you old beanpole, you shouldn't have. <laughs> I know! Happy birthday, Eric! Oh, gee, Grim, it's, uh, 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 it's really something. Yes, I commissioned it myself. Of course, I had hoped it would be a wedding present, but... Oh, Grimsby, you're not still sore because I didn't fall for the Princess of Glowerhaven, are you? It would never have worked out. She was terrified of my captain's log. <laughs> 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 he said log. <laughs> oh, oh, Eric, it isn't me alone. The entire kingdom wants to see you happily settled down with the right girl. Well, she's out there somewhere in the vast expanse of space, the final frontier. I just haven't found her yet. Well, perhaps... You haven't been looking hard enough. Oh, believe me, Grim, when I find her, I will know. It'll just, bam, hit me like lightning at Warp Factor 5. Oh, at I that moment, <laughs> that symmetrical lightning and thunder moment happened and the sky grows dark. What a coincidence. Everyone is thrown overboard except Max. Eric climbs back on board and saves the dog. The ship explodes into asymmetrical garbage. Ariel finds Eric drowning and pulls him away. On the beach, Ariel is sitting next to an unconscious Eric. Oh, my God. <laughs> is he, uh, is he dead? <laughs> it's hard to say. Oh, I can't make out a heartbeat. Let me get closer. Mm. <laughs> No, look, he's breathing. Oh, God, he's so beautiful. Oh. What would I give to live where you are? What would I pay to stay here beside you? What would I do to see you smiling at me? Oh, God, oh. where would we walk? Where would we run? I... We could just stay here all day in the sun. Oh, God, Peter, just you and me, and I could be part of your world. <laughs> Eric, oh, Eric, you really delight in these sadistic trains on my, my blood pressure, don't you? Hey, girl, rescued me. She was singing. She had the most beautiful voice, like Uhura or Chekhov. I'm trying to hold it together. Okay, Eric, I think you've swallowed a bit too much sea water. You keep pausing so much between words. Off we go. Come on, Max. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I know something's starting right now in my heart. Watch and you'll see. Someday I'll be. Part of your world. <laughs> and sing. All right. I love that you guys. I got are... choked up, man. I got choked up. How about you? Did you guys get a little teary? Yeah. I just love how much fun you guys are having with how warped this is. All right.
And the next scene, as Ursula Ross, Jack Nicholson. <laughs> as the narrator, Todd, Mr. Miyagi from The Karate Kid. <laughs> oh, we have two folks up here from Destiny. As the seahorse, Nolan, Ghost from Destiny. And as Ariel Todd, the drifter from Destiny. And last but not least, Jess, as Sebastian, it's time we bring Wacko Warner. All right, whenever you guys are ready. Did anyone else think it was strange that Ariel was perched on a rock, waxing on, waxing off? <laughs> Singing loudly just 20 feet away from Eric and Grimsby, and neither one of them saw her. Anyway, we now see Flotsam and Jetsam appear, fade to Ursula with a crane kick, watching from her chamber. can't stand it. <laughs> it's too easy. The child is in love with a human and not just any human, a prince. <laughs> a little song, a little dance, <laughs> Batman's head on a lance. <laughs> Her daddy will love that. <laughs> King Triton's headstrong, lovesick girl would make a charming addition to my little garden. <laughs> the next scene we see Triton's other six daughters telling the king that Ariel is in love. Cut to Sebastian pacing on a rock outside, practicing his kicks. Hello, Fanex, the greatest Comic-Con in the world! Okay, so far so good. Now look, I don't think the king knows, but it won't be easy keeping something like this a secret for too long. All right, all right, all right. He loves me. Yeah, he loves me not. Brother, he loves me. I knew it. Oh, Ariel, stop talking crazy. I'm the wacko one. <laughs> I, got him a see, I got to see him again tonight, warrior. Scuttle knows where he lives. Bring a sword. Ariel, please, won't you get your head out of the clouds and back into the water tower where it belongs? I'm going to swim up to his castle after one more round of gambit. Then flounder, splash around to get his attention, and then I'm gonna get those moats, and then I... No, 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 down here is your home, Ariel. Listen to me. The human world, it's a mess. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. I feel a song coming on. And it goes a little something like this. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, and Columbus is the capital of Ohio. No, 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 no. No, no, that's the world up there. You mean this world where the seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things surround you. What more is you looking for? Hey, wait, wait. Did you guys know that Jess does the voice of Sebastian in the parks? Yeah. Should we switch it to Sebastian? One more chorus. Under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Up in the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. While we devoted full time to floating under the sea. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'm out, thank you. <laughs> they discover that Ariel has left with Flounder. Ariel? Oh, somebody's got to stick that girl's fins to the floor with one of those thingamabobs she's always singing about. <laughs> Eyes up, Sebastian. 
I've been looking all over for you. I've got an urgent message from the Sea King. The Sea King? Can I call him Dadu? I suppose that would be all right. <laughs> he wants to see you right away. Something about Ariel. Oh, he knows, but he'll just have to wait. Because right now, this crab's about to have a potty emergency. You know, if you do it in the ocean, nobody really cares. And scene. <laughs> All right, cruising along. Next scene, as the narrator, Nolan, the penguin from Arkham. All right, we do that. Right. As Sebastian Todd Natsu from Fairy Tale. As Triton Ross, James Gandolfini from The Sopranos. Uh, Nolan, as Flounder, how about one line as Nathan Drake? Oh, yeah. It's just me. It's, they love you. That's uh, boring. <laughs> And as Ariel, Jess, I think Christopher Walken should be Ariel. All right, whenever you guys are ready. In the palace throne room, Triton's looking at the flower Ariel placed behind his ear earlier. Hey, let's see now. Uh, oh, oh, who could luck the lucky mermaid be? Come in, Sebastian. I know I've got a fire in my belly, but I mustn't overreact. I gotta remain calm. Uh, yes, your majesty? Now, Sebastian, I'm concerned about Ariel. You know, <laughs> have you noticed she's been acting uh, a little peculiar lately? I think she's talking to the feds. As peculiar as Gray? <laughs> you know, moaning about, daydreaming, singing to herself. You know, you ever notice anything weird, hmm? Oh, well, I mean, I... Sebastian! Huh? I know you've been keeping something from me. Keeping something? About Ariel? <laughs> Ariel? In love? I tried to stop her, sir. She wouldn't listen. I told her to stay away from humans. I told her don't make Lucy cry. Those are bad things to do. Wait, hey, humans? How, humans? What about humans? Humans? Oh, uh, I, uh, did I say about anything about humans? I meant a flying blue cat. Bathe to Ariel in flounder, entering a cave. Possibly the bat cave, where bats <laughs> sit or oh, hate him so much. I went, flounder put a statue of Eric there. Have you ever wondered how a little fish moved a statue into a cave? <laughs> yes, whatever. Penguin could do it quicker. <laughs> ah, get it? Because, uh, forget it. <laughs> I wonder about these things. Hey, flounder. Guy, this is crazy. It's nuts. Can you just tell me what this is all about? You'll see, Sully. It's a surprise. Wow! Flounder, you're the best. It looks just like him. It even has eyes. Why, Eric, run away with you. It's all so sudden. <laughs> Daddy! Hey! Hey! I consider myself a reasonable merman. I set certain rules, and I expect those rules to be followed, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Daddy! Hey, is it true you rescued a human from drowning? Hey, hold the phone. Daddy, Hey, I, I have to... Contact between the human world and the mer world is strictly forbidden. Ariel, you know that. Everybody knows that. Yeah, but the guy... The guy would have died. Hey... One less human to worry about. No, no, Dad, listen, you don't get it. The guy was sick. Really sick, Daddy. He had a fever. <laughs> a bad, bad, terrible fever. And the only cure was... Besides, you don't even know him. Know him? I don't have to know him. They're all the same. Spineless, savage, harpooning fish eaters, incapable of any feeling whatsoever. Daddy, I love this guy. He's crazy. He's nuts. What? What did you say? Hey, have you lost your senses completely? I'm going to break your legs. Well, not your legs, but you, you know what I mean. <laughs> He's a human. You're a mermaid. I am? Wow. I mean, yeah, sure I am, but I don't care. So help me, Ariel. I'm going to get through to you. I'm going to get through to you if it's the last thing I do. And if this is the only way I do it, so be it. 
and seen. All right, all right, let's see. Next scene, as the narrator, Nolan Deadpool. Okay. As Ariel Jess Pee Wee Herman. Of course, sure, makes sense. And as Ursula Ross, I think it's time we heard John Malkovich. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah. All right, you'll be thanking me after this. All right, whenever you guys are ready. Okay, so the Tritons blast aerials of stuff with his trident, right? You know, the pointy thing. And including the statue that the little fish carried in there. And two electric eels appear. They call Flotsam and Jetsam. And they have, like, this lisp with it. This S sounds like T-H. Anyway, why do the electric eels have a lisp? I mean, am I, am I, I'm the only one who wonders about this kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, they lead Ariel. Uh, Ursula's, but please don't be rude. Yeah, yeah, be rude. Shut up. Okay, sorry. The people who came here for something. Stop, stop. They live in my head. Sorry. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, they lead Ariel, Ursula's place called the Garden of Souls. Hey, did you know that's what it was called? Souls. Like fish have souls. <laughs> like, like Dover Soul with lemon butter. It's delicious. Sorry. Right, yeah, yeah, and Ursula, say something. Thank you. Come in. Come in, my child. We mustn't lurk in doorways. It's rude. One might question your upbringing. Now then, you're here because you have a thing for humans, yes? This, uh, prince fellow. Not that I blame you. He is quite a catch. Very handsome, isn't he? Yes. Well, angelfish... The solution to your problem is simple. The only way to get what you want is to become a human yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but can you really do that, John Malkasiewicz? Oh, my dear sweet child, that's what I do. It's what I live for, to help unfortunate merfolk like yourself, poor unfortunate souls with no one else to turn to. Now, here's the deal. I will make you a potion that will turn you into a human for three days. Got that? Three days. Now listen, this is important. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to fall in love with you. That is, he's got to kiss you. Not just any kiss, a French kiss of true love. <laughs> and if he does kiss you before the sun sets on the third day, you'll remain human permanently. But if he doesn't, you turn back into a mermaid and... You belong to me. Have we got a deal? Hmm. But if I become human, I'll never be with my father or my sisters or my bicycle ever again. That's right, but you'll have your man. Life's full of tough decisions, isn't it? Oh, and there's one more thing. We haven't discussed... Um, subject of payment, I accept pe uh, credit card, Venmo, PayPal, but uh, you can't get something for nothing, you know? Aha, but I don't have any money. I'm not asking much, just a token, really, a trifle. You'll never even miss it. Wh what I want from you is your beautiful voice. My beautiful voice? La, 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 la. God, it's so gorgeous. Yes, you've got it, sweet cakes. No more talking, singing, zip. Yeah, I mean, I understand the concept, but without my voice, how can I... Hey, you have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the importance of body language, huh? Okay? Come on, you poor, unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman, and I haven't got all day. It won't cost you much, just your voice. <laughs> yeah, 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 so, yeah, sorry, sorry. I was just uh, Malkovich. Yeah. <laughs> Ariel signs her the contract, and Ursula uh, begins uh, chanting weird stuff. <laughs> 
Beluga, Savruga, come winds of the Caspian scene. Now ringus, Golosaitis, et max laryngitis, la voce to me, now sing! La la la, la la la. Yes! La la la, la la yes! la la la. La Keep la la, singing! la 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 la. Yes! Yes! <laughs> and sing. You know, if he could do that voice well, it would really be cool, wouldn't it? I heard that in my head when I cast this, and it was just ten times better. I mean, that was just crazy. I can't wait to watch The Little Mermaid again, because it'll never be the same. And I have to say, I was watching you, yes, you, right in that second row. She was saying every word, word for word, with him. That was great. You're going to need a lot of therapy after this, man. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. Actually, I, I, I think we have another special guest. Is, is, he, is he here? Yes? Folks, Stephen Weber is going to join our panel. Let's hear it. Louder, louder, louder. Yourself. Wow! You, you never know who's going to stop by, right? Wow! I freaking love that, dude. Wow, all right. Look at this. Now we're all nervous. All right. <laughs> and the next scene. Uh, Stephen, we're starting on the bottom of page 21. Right. As the narrator, Ross, sure. Ewan McGregor. Lovely. Beautiful. As uh, Sebastian Nolan, John Cleese. Oh, yeah. As uh, Eric, Jess, Captain Hero. Oh, drawn together. Drawn together. From Drawn Together, you know, that really warped show? Yeah. Okay. I know. I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm we sorry know. again, I'm yeah. sorry. As, uh, let's see, as Flounder, Ross, Harrison Ford. Uh, Stephen, we're going to have you say the lines of Carlotta. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Todd. As Grimsby, let's hear your William Shatner. Good. And as Scuttle, Jess, Roger Rabbit. All right. As soon as you guys are ready to roll, we are good to go. Lovely. Well, giant magical hands rip out of Ariel's voice and put it in Ursula's shell necklace. She laughs yeah. as Ariel is changed into a human and rushed to the surface by Flounder and Sebastian. A little plot flaw here. She's a miner who just signed a contract. I mean, it's not really quite fair, but um, <laughs> you would think Disney would know about these things, but, uh, you know. Uh, and just like Disney did, we'll skip over the fact that she's half naked, okay? And uh, fade to beach, Ariel sees her legs and is amazed. <laughs> Jeepers, Ariel, look at what the catfish dragged in. Hey, wait a second. There's something different about you. Don't tell me. My wife Jessica says I have a super sense of perception. <laughs> now, wait a second. It's your hairdo, right? You've been using the dingle hopper, right? No? Well, let me see then. Seashells? Nope. <laughs> I gotta admit, I can't put my rabbit's foot on it, but if I stand here long enough, I know I'm gonna figure it She's out. She's got legs, you idiots! She <laughs> traded her voice to the sea witch and got legs! Jeez, man! Oh, cheapest, I knew that! <laughs> Ariel's been turned into a human, all right? She's gotta get the, the prince to fall in love with her, Chewie, and uh, <laughs> she's gotta... she's gotta kiss her. And she's only got three days. Just look at her on legs, on human legs. <laughs> My nerves are short. This is a catastrophe. What would her father say? I tell you what her father would say. He'd say he's going to kill himself a crap. That's what he'd father say. I'm going to march myself straight home right now and tell him just like I should have done. This is the longest monologue and I don't want to do it any longer. All right, all right. I'll try to help you find that prince. Boy, what a soft shell I'm turning out to be. Now listen, Ariel, if you want to be a human, the first thing you got to do is dress like one. And wow, you look great, kid. You look super, spectacular, sensational. And from that to this, 
Now be quiet, Max. What's gotten into you? Oh, I see. Hello there. Are you okay, miss? I'm sorry if this knucklehead scared you. <gasps> Wait a moment. You seem very familiar. Did I not rescue you or use you as a human shield once before? Oh, we, we have met. I knew it. Yes, you're the one. The one I've been looking for. What's your name? Ariel, Mouse. Ariel, but no words come out. Ooh, what's wrong? You can't speak? Well, then you're perfect for Captain Hero. <laughs> But you, but you couldn't be who I thought. Fade to Ariel in a bath playing with bubbles while the maid watches. Again, we'll avoid the no clothes thing, just like Disney did. <laughs> Washed up from a shipwreck. Oh, the poor thing. We'll have you feeling better in no time. I'm Carlotta. I'll just, I'll just get this washed for you. Sebastian dives into the kitchen and sees all kinds of fish cooking and chopped in pieces. He faints. Cut to the castle dining room. Oh, Eric, don't try to sabotage this. Be reasonable. <laughs> nice young ladies just don't swim around rescuing people in the middle of the ocean and then flutter off into oblivion like some rocket man. <laughs> no, no, I'm telling you, Grim, she was real. I'm going to find that girl and I'm going to marry her. <laughs> it'll, it'll be a very quiet wedding, but a very kinky one. <laughs> Come on, baby, don't be shy. <laughs> I'm Carlotta. <laughs> Sulu, on screen. <laughs> oh, Eric, isn't she a vision? She looks wonderful. Come, 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 you must be famished. <laughs> Let me help you, my dear. There we go, huh? quite comfy. It's not often that we have such a lovely dinner guest, eh? Scotty. Six to beam up. <laughs> and see. Oh. You guys having fun or not? <laughs> Steven, can you stay for one more? Uh, I'd love to. I don't, I don't do any voices but my own. You sound fantastic doing it, That's though, buddy. That's all right. It's a Thanks. handsome voice. It may Thanks for having me. It may be all the right. best Steven Weber impression. It's the best Steven Weber impression I have ever heard in my life. <laughs> All right, let's see. In the next one, as... How about Nolan as Carlotta? How about Smeagol from Lord of the Rings? Okay, as, it's Carlotta? Got it. Yes. As Scuttle, Jess, Kermit the Frog. Scuttle, Kermit the Frog. Uh, okay, as the narrator, we'll make Jess... We're going to move him. Kermit's the narrator in Very this good. scene. Thank you. He's a good narrator. As Scuttle, Ross, Tom Hiddleston. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's nice. As Flounder, how about Todd? How about Italy from Italia? As, man, this one's getting complicated. As Flounder, Stephen, you're Flounder. Yeah. Not Carlotta, Flounder. Oh, okay. Okay. As uh, Eric, Jess, the Cowardly Lion. Cowardly Lion. And as Sebastian, Nolan, how about Gilbert Gottfried? Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right. <clears throat> to recap, because <laughs> yeah, I'm lost, as the narrator is Kermit, as Scuttle, we have Tom Hiddleston, as Flounder, we have Steven Weber, as Sebastian, we have Gilbert Gottfried, as Grimsby, we have Italy, and as Eric, we have the Cowardly Lion. Okay. And as Carlotta, Smeagol. Steven Weber. Are we ready? Awesome. Yay! All right, whenever you guys are ready. Um, Heidi ho so Ariel starts combing her hair with a fork. The others look dumbfounded, and she is embarrassed. Then she sees a pipe and blows its contents into Eric's face. Eric laughs. Apparently, he's into that sort of thing. Got him. Got him. Oh, God. Oh, I'm awful sorry, Grim. Why, Eric's Dexy first time I've seen you smile in Rixus's. Oh, Germany, look, it's very amusing. Charlotte, my dear, what's for dinner, pasta? Oh, you're gonna love it. 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's not creepy at all. Uh, we cut to Chef Louis singing a song which sounds nothing like "Why Are There So Many Songs About Rainbows." The weird thing here is, go back and watch this scene. Did you ever notice that when Sebastian runs, it sounds like a car? And cut to the dining room. You know, Eric, perhaps our youngest guest might enjoy seeing some of the sights of the kingdom. Something in the way of a tour. I'm sorry, Grim. What was that? What was that? I'm a scared. I'm a scared. <laughs> you can't spend all your time moping about. You need to get out. Do something. Have a life. Get your mind off of... You know, it's not a bad idea if she's interested. Well, what do you say, miss? Would you like to join me on a tour of my kingdom tomorrow? After all, I am the king of the forest. <laughs> Oh, it's me again. Ariel nods vigorously, and we cut to the bedroom at night, but don't worry, this is Disney. Nothing's going to happen. Okay, so this has got to be, without a doubt, the single most humiliating day of my life. <laughs> so I, I hope that you appreciate what I go through for you, young lady. Now, we got to make a plan to get that boy to kiss you. Tomorrow, tomorrow, when, when he they take you for a ride. Oh, yeah, you'll learn later. You gotta look your best. You gotta bat your eyes like this. Then you wanna, you wanna, you wanna pucker your lips like this. Oh, you're hopeless. You're a hopeless child, you know that? Oh, you're completely hopeless. Oh, well, he's encouraging. Uh, morning at the castle, Ariel and Eric leave for their tour. Ariel is amazed by everything, especially when she sees all the awesome people at Fanex in Salt Lake City. I'm going to do Burt Lancaster. I'm going to try that yeah, do again. That, do that. Has he kissed her yet? Not very good. <laughs> Has he kissed her yet? Not yet! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes. Flounder. Any kissing? No, not yet! Hmm, well, they better get cracking. <laughs> Well, they leave town and Ariel drives the coach, almost crashing, which makes sense because they don't teach fish how to drive. They end up on a rowboat, on a rowboat on a beautiful lagoon in the evening. <laughs> Move over! Move your big feathers, I can't see a thing. Nothing is happening. Only one day left. And that boy hasn't puckered up once. Only, all right, well, th this calls for a little romantic vocal stimulation and some glorious purpose. <laughs> Stand back! <laughs> <laughs> Scuttle flies over and sings very loudly and badly, sort of like Kanye West without auto-tune. <laughs> you know it's true. That's why it's funny. You know it's true. Okay. Wow. Somebody should find that poor animal and put it out of its misery. But I ain't going to do it. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> oh, jeez. Look, I am surrounded by amateurs. You want something done? You, you got to do it yourself. First, we gotta create the mood. I know how to create mood. <laughs> Percussion, strings, wind. I, am I really going to sing? <laughs> and you, oh, shut up! <laughs> there you see, I, sitting there across the way. <laughs> She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her, and you don't know why, but you're dying to try. You want to kiss the girl. Yeah, buddy. That hurt my ears. It was fantastic. <laughs> you know something? I gotta tell you, it's so romantic out here with him singing and all. I, I feel really bad not knowing your name. Uh, maybe I could guess. Is it uh, Mildred? Okay, no. Maybe I'll call you Dorothy. Or maybe Toto. Now, nah, that one's already taken. <laughs> Ariel! <laughs> Her name is. Well, it says Whisper. <laughs> Ariel! Ariel, Ariel, wow, that's pretty. Okay, I'd call her Ariel if I only had the nerve. And scene. Oh, and, and that's Folks, big round of applause for Stephen Weber. Thank you. Thank you.
Wow. All right. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. let's see here. Next scene as Eric Ross Stan Lee. Oh, good. As uh, Grimsby Jess Elvis. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, cool. As the narrator Todd Bernie Sanders. As Ursula Nolan, Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. As Sebastian yeah. Jess, Ozzy Osbourne. Good. It's about time. I like that. And as Scuttle Ross, how about Beetlejuice? Oh. All right. Okay. Whenever you guys are ready. <clears throat> One percent of the 99 percent of the boat tips over. Flotsam and Jetsam congratulate each other, cut to Ursula's cavern. Nice work, boys! That was a close one. <laughs> a little too close. A little tramp. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, she's better than I thought. Well, at this rate, he'll be kissing her by sunset for sure. <laughs> tramp. <laughs> well, it's time Ursula took matters into her own tentacles. Triton's daughter will be mine, and then I'll make him writhe. <laughs> writhe. I'll see him wriggle like a worm. <laughs> worm. On a hook. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing, she transforms into a human with the help of my friends on the other side of the aisle. With Ariel's voice, fade to a castle at night using dark money. Eric's distracted by Ursula, Vanessa, AOC. Liz Cheney singing. They're placed under a spell. The MAGA spell, the GOP. We cut the scuttle flying toward the castle in the morning. That's, I'm sorry, that's like, that's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ariel. Ariel, come on. Wake up. I got some tag nuts for you. I just heard the news. <laughs> Congratulations, kiddo. We did it. Come on, you kissed the girl, all right. <laughs> uh, what the hell is Beasle Juice babbling about, you know? Right, as if you didn't know, huh? The whole town's buzzing about the prince getting hitched himself this afternoon, you know. He's getting married, you know. Hey, Hermano, come on. Yeah. Sandworms. You hear right? I hate him too. Hey, you silly sidewalker. Hey, hey, I just want to wish you luck. Hey, Chuck, we come for your daughter. Hey. I'll catch you later. I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> Ariel brightens and runs down not 0%, not 1%, but 100% downstairs. Only to see Eric and Vanessa, two people together. Well, well no, no, hang on a second there, Eric. It, it appears that I was mistaken, man. This mystery maiden of yours does exist, and she's lovely. Congratulations, my dear, and don't be cruel to her. We wish to be married as soon as possible. Excelsior! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course you do, Stanley. But listen, man, these things do take time. Wise men say only fools rush in. No, no, no. This afternoon, Grimsby, the wedding ship departs at sunset. Oh, okay, man, as you wish. It sounds like you're ready to love her tender. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ariel runs off crying Oh Cut to late afternoon as the wedding ship starts to leave Using 100% of the taxpayer's money Ariel is on the pier We tried to fit that into the bill But again my friends on the left And the right need to come together as one Crying sadly as Sebastian And flounder look on Cut to scuttle flying and humming to himself. It won't cost you a penny for him to hum. <laughs> what a lovely little bride I'll make. My dear, I'll look divine. Things are working out according to my ultimate design. Soon I'll have that little mermaid and the ocean will be mine. <laughs> like everything else. <laughs> I own all of you. <laughs> well, not Beetlejuice, 
this you don't know build this yet, perhaps. Come on, hey, hey, the sea witch. Oh no, she's got a. <laughs> hey, I got a Ariel. Oh God, Ariel, Ariel. I was flying a. Uh, uh, what? Well, of course, I was flying and the uh, eyes. Uh, I saw a witch. The witch was up and watching the mirror. You know, I, I, and she was singing with a stolen nose uh, and a pipe. You know, you know what you're telling me. The prince is marrying the sea witch in disguise. You know what I'm saying? Come on. <laughs> What you just said, but are you sure about this, man? Hey, have I ever been wrong? Come on, I mean, when it's important, come on. <laughs> Ariel jumps in the water but can't swim well. So, Sebastian sends down some barrels taken care of by socialism to help her float. <laughs> okay, Ariel, grab onto these floaty things, you know. Flounder, get into that boat as fast as your fins can carry you. Tell him, Mama, she's coming home. I've got to get to the Sea King. He must know about this, you know. Let's get crazy! Wait a minute, where am I? <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I don't mean to be rude, North Regard. Are you drunk right now? I really can't understand what you're saying. Come on. Hey, wait, wait. What about me? What about me? Hey, hey. My head. We're shrinking down. Come on. Uh, you're freaking me out, but find a way to stall that wedding. Sharon! Yeah, yeah. So stall the wedding. Who are you? Stall the wedding. Wait, well, okay. Yeah, that's right. well, What am I going to do? Uh, with a guy like me, typical guy, a uh, certain mood, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, 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 that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Move it. Let's go. I got an emergency here. Come on. <laughs> and same. <laughs> All right, we've come to the last scene. Are you all still with us? I, I got I got to ask you guys one question before we do the scene. If we come back next year, will you come back next year and hang with us again? All right, because I got a photographic memory, and I'm locking in every one of you bastards right now. So if you're not here, I'm going to be pissed. Seriously, thank you so. We cannot thank you enough for coming and giving us your time and doing this with us. We couldn't do it without you. We love you. Come say hi at our tables. Thanks, guys. All right. Let's see here. Last scene. As the narrator, Nolan. Let's do some more Christopher Walken. As Sebastian, you know, Nolan, you're double duty. As Sebastian, you're going to do Jason Statham. Oh, good. I like that. As Triton, Ross, you're going to do Al Pacino. Oh, we're swapping, we're, swapping nice. we're playing, we're having fun. Yeah, man. Not that way. I know what you guys in the back are thinking. <laughs> As Eric, uh, Todd, let's hear Christian Bale's Batman. Oh, cool. <clears throat> As Ariel, before you do it, half of you are going to love it, half of you are going to hate it. As Ariel Ross, Donald Trump. Oh, great. You're it's all fantastic. Gonna You're going to love it. You're all going to love it. And as Ursula, Jess, it's time to close it out. And we, we're, missing, we're missing Eric Cartman. Oh, you got to do Eric Cartman. Yeah. we got to close with Eric Cartman. All right. While they set up the scripts, thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you for coming and following us. We've got swag. If you come down to the booths and ask for us, we've got, if you want uh, lanyards, uh, pins, keychains, Bandanas, stretches, whatever you Where's want. Where's your booth, dude? Where's your booth at? I don't have a booth. So if you come down to Jess or Todd or Nolan or Ross's booth and say, hey, we want tunes, I'll come running out. Or the alley behind Jack in the Box tonight at midnight. He's out there selling all kinds of crap. That's not tunes, though. <laughs> all right. Whenever you guys are ready. And don't go anywhere, because at the end, we all want you in our picture. We're going to do a stage yeah, shot. Yeah, we're going to do a picture. You guys got to so be in it. don't go us. anywhere. We want to scream at the end to make everyone outside really pissed they yeah, didn't get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Final scene. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Okay. Cut to the wedding. Vanessa kicks the dog. Wow! She kicked the dog. Ariel climbs up onto the ship with just their arms, right? It's weird. <laughs> and there's one more note here for you. You perverts, this is one of those famous Disney edited scenes, right? Go watch the scene on an original version VHS tape. <laughs> Kids, ask your parents what that is. Pay attention. <laughs> Want to look at the priest. He loves his ceremony. 
gets excited during the ceremony. You know what I mean? It's a boner. Anyway, here's where the hijinks ensue. Birds, starfish attack, dolphins squirting water. Priest again. Wow. Loves the squirt. Then a seal flips Vanessa around like a ball. It's all around great time. Then scuttle squawks in Vanessa's face, right? Max bites her on the backside. That's her ass. And then Ariel's voice is returned to her. And we all applaud. Ariel. Oh, my God. Is that my son, Eric Trump? <laughs> you could speak. I had no idea you could speak. It's wonderful. I love it. Let me hear more. <laughs> you can talk. You're the one. <laughs> Get away from her, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Swear to me, it was you all the time. Oh, Eric, believe me, I wanted to tell you, I wanted to tell you so many things. I wanted to tell you all the things, so many things, believe me. <laughs> I very much wanted to tell you things, but I couldn't. <laughs> the liberals, they, 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 they took me off of Twitter, okay? I couldn't say anything. What do you want me to say? <laughs> No! <laughs> so then, right, they go in for this kiss, and the priest is over there. He's sweating. <laughs> but then the sun sets, and Ariel becomes a mermaid again. <laughs> Missed it by that much. <laughs> you are too late. So long, lover boy. You suck. Rachel! I mean, Ariel! the princess. It's not you I'm after. I have a much bigger fish to fry. Oh! Ursula, stop. What, King Pacino? How are you? Okay. Gonna say this one time and one time only. Let her go. Not a chance, Titan. She is mine now. We made a deal and it was super sweet, you guys. Yeah, Daddy, I'm sorry. A deal's a deal. I'm the, I, you know, I wrote the art of the deal, okay? Believe me. I, I thought I should know better. I didn't mean to. You know, I, 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 I'm a billionaire many times over, but sometimes you win, some you lose some. I didn't know, okay? <laughs> That's when Triton attacks the contract with a fierce blast from his trident. And then the priest still is just... I mean, by now he's half-dressed. And he's just... Chomping at the bit. <laughs> you see, the contract is legal, binding, and completely unbreakable, even for you. The daughter of the great sea king is a very precious commodity, but I might be willing to make an exchange for someone even better. Now, do we have a deal? Ha! <laughs> it's done then. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Ariel. Is released and Triton is, is withered as Ursula laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Oi, Your Majesty. <laughs> Daddy, is that you? Oh, no. Daddy, no. Daddy, no. Please, Daddy, no. <laughs> At last, it's mine, you guys. Sweet. <laughs> you are a monster. You're literally the worst person I've ever met in my entire life. And believe me, I've met some terrible people, but you take the cake, my friend, okay? Hey, don't fool with me, Donald Trump. Contact or no. Ah! Hey, you little troll. You hit me with a hot pin. I was going to tell him that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead, say it. Go ahead, say it. A little too late for that now. No, do it, please. Please. Ursula's hit with a hot pool. Like Christopher Walken said, you little troll, you hit me with a hot pool. Eric, Eric, oh my God, my least favorite son, look out. 
<laughs> After him, say goodbye to your sweetheart. Ariel makes her miss Eric, and she ends up blasting flossum, jetsum, and now the priest. Ah, <laughs> oh, just the word flotsam And the guy, he's drinking at this point Babies, my poor little poopsies <laughs> You pitiful, insignificant fool Now, I am the ruler of all the ocean The waves obey my every whim The sea and its boils bow to my power And I will kick you square in the nuts Respect my authority There's more, there's more. And since this is an ocean movie, I'm sailing away. So much for true love. God, I hate you guys. Ursula is just wreaking havoc now. It's out of control. Eric climbs onto a ship with just his arms. I mean, a guy. <laughs> the strength, the upper body strength. These people must really work out. Seriously, as Ursula is about to blast Ariel... Eric steers a ship into her. She's impaled. And now you know who. He's over on the beach. <laughs> He's just hammering sand. <laughs> anyway, Ursula dies most horribly. Everything reverts to normal. Fade to morning with Eric on a beach. The guy is just out cold next to him. <laughs> Ariel's watching from a distance, right? <laughs> she, uh, she really does love him, doesn't she, Sebastian? Yeah, it's like I always say, Your Majesty. Children got to be free to lead their own lives. You, you always say that. I've never heard you say that. Okay, then. <laughs> I guess there's just one problem left. Oh, yeah, I do always say that. <laughs> and what is that problem, Your Majesty? How much I'm going to miss her. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? He turns her into a human. And she goes to meet Eric, right? Everyone's happy. Because you don't want to be with a fish. <laughs> Gotta have legs. Long legs. <laughs> Sorry, got a little sweaty. Sebastian beats up the chef. What? And then Ariel and Triton hug. It's weird. Daddy, I love you so much. I can't believe you really fulfilled my wish and made me a human girl, which is what I've always wanted. <laughs> I just... You know I love things. I'm a very materialistic person. I've got all these dingle hoppers and shugus maggots and all these things here. And I'm just so happy to finally be able to embrace him on Earth and be with Eric, my least favorite son. It's very exciting. And I love you so much. I love you more than anything in the world. Thank you so much, Daddy. I love you. Okay? Folks, did you have fun? Thank you guys, come see